talking about steel drums or steel pans, as they're called in Trinidad. Uh, as I just said, Trinidad is the birthplace for the steel pan. Uh, and we'll go into the history and uh, the art of playing uh, in detail and uh, choosing instruments and various things that you'd like to know to become a steel drummer. I myself have been playing steel pans for um, 20, 25 years or something like that. Been playing music, drums and percussion forever, for as long as I can remember. And uh, fell in love with the sound of the steel pan and uh, found some uh, Trinidadians and a guy from New York that took me under their wings and uh, I've been playing ever since then, playing, recording, teaching and, uh, and loving it ever since. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the history and how this beautiful instrument was created on the island of Trinidad. We'll talk a little bit about uh, the playing techniques and things that you'd like to know to become a steel drummer, for instance. Uh, how to choose your instrument, how to choose your sticks, how to hold the sticks, techniques for playing, techniques for practicing, as well as getting more uh, advanced and playing actual music on the steel pans. My name is Alan Leitner, as I said, and I've played with uh, the group Pan Ramage and the Rhythm Roots All-Stars, among many others. I've been playing steel pans for 20 or 25 years. I've uh, been playing music all my life. Fell in love with the sound of the steel pan and uh, found some people that would help me and take me under their wings and uh, show, me, show me the art form. And I've been playing and uh, teaching and uh, enjoying this beautiful art form ever since.